Okay students let's get started with today's lecture we have to cover o levels and igcse physics mcqs for the chapter of mass and weight so let's get started with the first mcq a spacecraft carries a probe to mass where the gravitational field strength is 3.7 okay so the gravitational field strength at mars is 3.7 the weight of the probe on mars is this okay so you have the weight on mars as well the gravitation field strength on earth is this this is the gravitation field strength on earth what are the mass and the weight of the probe on earth okay you have to calculate the mass and weight of the probe on earth so you know that the gravitation field strength at mars is 3.7 the weight at mars is 370 how will you calculate mass W is equals to mg. W is equals to 370. You have to calculate mass. Your gravitation field strength is 3.7. So 370 divided by 3.7. This gives you an answer of 100. So the mass will be equals to 100 kg. Simple as that. Now the mass will remain the same on Earth. So the mass on Mars is equals to the same. Is equals to the mass on Earth. So C and D will get cancelled out. Let's move on to the weight. The weight on Earth will be equal to what? Mass into the gravitational field strength of Earth. What is the mass? Hundred. What is the gravitational field strength? Nine point eight. Multiply both of them. Nine eight zero Newton is your weight. B is your answer. Let's wait. They will move ahead. Let's see this. The diagram shows four balances W, X, Y, Z. Okay. Uh, the scales of all the balances are calibrated on the earth to measure mass okay so the scales are calibrated on the earth okay which balance also measures mass correctly when used on moon okay so which of these balances will measure the mass correctly as well if measured on the moon okay so if you pay attention here this ring balance if i measure the mass using the ring balance can you see gravitational field strength will only get applied once so this will disturb your readings this will give you inaccurate readings inaccurate readings on the top pan balance as well if you place a mass here the gravitational field strength g will be only applied once this will give you an inaccurate reading however if you see point y or instrument y and instrument z the gravitational field strength is also applied in the anti clockwise direction and the gravitational field strength is also applied in the clockwise direction so the effect of gravitational field strength gets cancelled out in w and x gravitational field strength was only being applied once in y and z there is gravitational field strength being applied in both the direction it gets cancelled out similar for z the gravitational field strength will get applied here as well and will get applied here as well this will be in the clockwise direction this will be in the anti clockwise direction both of these gravitational field strengths will get cancelled out hence y and z aren't affected aren't affected by gravitational field strength or g hence they will measure the same mass on the moon as well so is there any option like that d is your answer let's further move ahead which statement about mass and weight weight is correct which statement about mass and weight is correct mass is a scientific term that means the same as weight no the mass of an object on earth is 10 times its weight no weight is a scalar quantity mass is a vector quantity no weight is the force of gravity pulling on a mass d is a correct answer let's further move ahead four object of different masses are on different planets okay the weight of each object on its planet is determined okay which object is on the planet with the smallest gravitational field strength okay which object is on a planet with the smallest gravitational field strength we have to calculate the smallest g how will we do that weight is 125 
divided by the mass first of all let me write the formula let me not do it directly weight is equals to mg if you divide the weight by mass you will get your gravitational field listen here your weight is 125 divided by mass of 5 what will your gravitational field listen come out to be 125 divided by 5 this equals to 25 let's do the same thing with this part b 150 divided by 15 your gravitational field listen is 10 let's do the same thing here 220 divided by 20 your gravitational field listen is 11 Let's do the same thing here. 2 to 5 divided by 25. Your gravitational field strength is 9. You had to find the smallest gravitational field strength. The gravitational field strength of A is 25. Of B is 10. Of C is 11. And the gravitational field strength for D is what? 9. So D will be your option. Simple as that. Let's wait and move ahead. The mass of object P is greater than the mass of object Q. Okay, so the mass of object P is greater than the mass of object Q. Okay. The object contains different amounts of matter. Okay. And have a different resistance to change in motion. Which row is correct? See, if the mass of P is greater than mass of Q, obviously it will have greater matter. Because mass refers to the amount of matter in an object. And also, object P will resist its motion greater a will be your answer let's further move ahead there is no atmosphere on the moon okay two metal spheres of identical volume but different masses are at rest okay so your initial velocity is zero at the same height above the ground on the moon okay they are dropped at the same time okay so let's say you have two masses let's say this is a smaller mass m and let's say this is a larger mass capital m both of them are falling on the surface of moon where there is no atmosphere this means there will be no resistive forces this means there will be no resistive forces this means the only force acting on them will be their weights the only force acting on them will be their weights and if weight is the only force acting on them, their acceleration will be equal to the gravitational field strength of moon. Acceleration will be equal to the gravitational field strength of moon. So the sphere with a larger mass has a smaller acceleration? No. The sphere with a larger mass hits the ground first? No. The sphere with a smaller mass has a smaller acceleration? No. The two spheres hit the ground together. Why? Because they both have the same acceleration they both are starting from rest and there is no atmosphere so both will fall or hit the ground at the same time let's again see this uh, the diagram shows two objects on a beam balance the beam balance is in equilibrium that means what equilibrium means what that two conditions must be satisfied resultant force must be equal to zero and resultant moment must be equal to zero the masses of the two objects will be same yes okay which quantities must be different we have to calculate the quantities that are different the masses will be same the moments will be same according to this condition the volume of the objects can differ it is completely possible that this object is a rectangle and this is a triangle the volumes can be same or oh, the volumes can be different everything else has to be same the weight also has to be same if you want to be in equilibrium let's move ahead an astronaut travels to International Space Station, okay, which will describe how its mass and weight compare with their sizes on Earth, okay. So, always remember that mass never changes. Mass never changes. And weight can vary from planet to planet. Weight can vary from planet to planet planet so mass will remain same weight will become different c is your answer let's further move ahead okay let's zoom out a brick is placed on a newton meter and then on a beam balance okay what is measured by each instrument okay if you look closely on the beam balance you will see these are small masses that means what beam balance is measuring masses and <coughs> the newton meter is measuring weight c is the correct answer let's further move ahead 
the mass of a stone is found on earth okay using a pan balance this is a pan balance the weight of the stone is found using a newton meter okay are the readings same on the moon or different okay so again we will apply the same logic on the pan balance gravitational field strength is being applied at two places both in the anti-clockwise direction and in the clockwise direction hence these will get cancelled out however on the newton meter the gravitational field strength is only being applied in one direction hence the newton meter will give you a different reading on the moon newton meter will give you a different reading on the moon and pan balance will give you the same reading b is your answer let's move ahead a scientist places a rock on a spring balance uh, she then places the same rock on a beam balance okay at the north pole the gravitational field strength is greater than the equator okay so the gravitational field strength at the north pole is greater than the gravitational field strength at the equator okay she performed the experiment at the north pole at the equator how do the readings at the north pole compare with those at the equator okay so again you will apply the same logic in the spring balance the gravitational field strength is only being applied at one point however at the beam balance gravitational field strength get applied at two points in the anti-clockwise direction as well and in the clockwise direction as well these two will get cancelled out eventually so the beam balance will give you the same reading at the north pole however the spring balance will give you a different reading b is your answer a student writes two statement about mass and weight okay mass is the property of a body which resists change in its state in its states of rest or motion this is the correct definition of mass weight is the amount of substance in a body no that's not correct so only statement a is correct let's further move ahead uh, x is the result of y divided by z okay so y divided by z will give you x okay so can we say x is mass w is yeah a is the correct option if you take y as your weight divided by the gravitational field strength g this will give you your mass yeah that's correct that's perfectly fine x is your answer oh a is your answer uh, let's see question three the gravitational field strength in a space is a smaller than the gravitational field strength on earth's surface so the gravitational field strength in a space is a smaller than the gravitational field strength on earth okay a rocket is used to launch a satellite from earth's surface into space okay how are the mass and weight of the satellite affected as the satellite moves away from the surface of the earth and into the space as i have told you mass remains unaffected mass remains unaffected however the weight will decrease why because the gravitational field strength in the space is less if the gravitational field strength in space is less the weight will be less d is your answer let's further move ahead an electrically charged plastic ball is at rest which type of fields are caused by the ball obviously if you have an electric charge you will develop an electric field and since you are surrounded by a gravitational field of the earth there will be gravitational field developed as well b is your answer the graph shows how the extension of a spring changes with mass suspended from the from it when the spring is on planet x and when the spring is on planet y so just looking at the graph you can visualize that for the same mass let's say i have taken the mass of 2 kg for the same mass planet y is giving me an extension of 10 here and planet x is giving me an extension of what 30 can you see the extension is three times or thrice how can this be possible how can extension become thrice on planet x for the same mass this is only possible if you cause your force to increase by three times how can your force increase by three times if you increase your gravitational field strength 
on planet X by three times. So is there any option like that? The gravitational field is strength on planet X is three times the gravitational field is strength on planet Y. D is your answer. Let's see this. On Earth's surface, the gravitational field is strength is 10. On the surface of Mars, the gravitational field is strength is 3.8. A robot vehicle has a weight of this on Earth. Okay, what is the weight of the robot vehicle on Mars? Okay, so first of all, on Earth, you have a weight of what? 2,000 Newton, okay. And on Earth, you have a gravitational field strength of 10. What will your mass be equal to? W is equal to mg. 2,000 is equal to m10 mass comes out to be 200 kg now for mars can you calculate the weight weight is equal to mg what is your mass 200 kg what is your gravitation field is 3.8 multiply them together 200 into 3.8 this comes out to be 760 newtons b is your answer let's wait then move ahead four objects are situated in places with different gravitation field strength Okay, which object has the greatest weight? Okay, so you have to calculate the object with the greatest weight. Weight is equal to mg. This is your g, this is your mass. Multiply 10.4 into 3, this comes out to be what? 31.2 Newton. 9.5 multiplied by 3.5 gives you an answer of 33.25. If you multiply 4 and 10.2, you will get an answer of what? 40.8. And let's multiply 4.9 multiplied by 9. This gives you an answer of 40.5. So C is your answer of the greatest weight. Simple as that. Nothing complicated here. So this marks the end of the past papers for mass and weight. If you have any other questions, you can ask in the comments. And this PDF is in the Google Drive link attached in the description. Thank you for watching.